There is a secret underwater navy in British Columbia that attracts new recruits all the time. It is a fleet of old Canadian destroyers sunk over the last two decades as artificial reefs. Put there by members of the Artificial Reef Society of BC, the ships have become marine gardens and are also the backbone of BC's vibrant dive tourism industry. The ghostly ships not only attract divers, but wildlife too, from invertebrates like sponges and anemones to lingcod, rockfish, octopus, and even wolf eels. The Society's earliest members pioneered the art of cleaning, making safe, and sinking large ships, including five destroyers, two freighters, and an airplane. They became so good at it that they exported that technology to other countries, where they have sunk dozens more ships. It hasn't always gone according to plan. The society has faced opposition from upland owners who don't want the vessel sunk on their front door. It's even faced strife from within over disagreements over how and who should sink these ships. The last one, HMCS Annapolis in Halkett Bay on Gambier Island, was delayed nearly five years because of legal arguments. But to divers, the ships have become garden-like jungle gyms the Dive Industry Association of BC estimate that each of these ships brings in millions of dollars in local tourism. The society is now looking at sinking four of ten old breakwater ships owned by Catalyst Paper in Powell River.